Would you believe me if I told you there's a company out there that believes they can make a flying car for around the same price as an SUV and start selling it in 2019? I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and today that's what we're going to take a look at. Opener Incorporated is a Canadian-based aviation company which just unveiled their new project, the Black Fly. This is an ultra-light, fixed-wing, personal aerial vehicle. They're not calling them flying cars anymore. They become a personal aerial vehicle because in all reality, that's what we need. We really don't have to be able to drive along and then turn into an airplane. Why not just fly everywhere we need to go? This vehicle has been in development since 2011 when their first prototype made its maiden flight. Since that time, they have had a couple variations on it. In fact, here's Model 2 and Model 3. And in 2014, this Canadian company moved their base of operation down to Palo Alto, California, so they could really streamline their development process. Get in there with all these little startups, share some technology, and really get this vehicle off the ground. And so after all these years of development, this is what they came up with. This is version three of their Black Fly project. This is an amphibious VTOL personal aerial vehicle. So it's vertical takeoff and landing with fixed wings. Being amphibious, obviously it can take off from land or water. It is battery powered and runs eight electric propellers. This vehicle does fit into the United States ultralight guidelines, which means you don't even need a pilot's license to fly this thing. Now, so you don't think this is some kind of like cobbled together project that will never see the light of day. This project has seen over a thousand remote controlled test flights and has been in the air with a payload of 200 pounds for over 10,000 hours. After those benchmarks, they have started taking man tests as well. This vehicle has been in the air over 14,000 hours in total without a mishap. And a big part of what makes that possible and what makes this such a promising vehicle is the technology on board. It does have things like cruise control and it also has a home button. But the way the technology is set up, according to a representative from their company, it takes five minutes in a simulator to learn how to fly this thing. I mean, technically by FAA rules here in the United States, you don't even need to take a test to fly it. But of course, Opener does have a training program for new pilots. And in that same interview, the representative of the company also stated that they have a price point set for this around the same price as a modern SUV. Now, we don't know if that's a Hyundai SUV or a Bentley SUV, but it should be about the same price as an SUV. And they're hoping to price it in a way that just regular old people can get right into this. Now, the only problem we have with this system is regulations. Because it's classified as an ultralight, it can only travel 25 miles, cannot exceed 62 miles per hour, cannot fly after dark, and can't fly over cities. So if they can overcome those hurdles, I bet you it won't be too long before seeing these in the air is just an everyday occurrence. That's just what I think. But really, I want to know what you think. Is this a good version of a personal VTOL? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when I put out something new. My schedule has been a little hectic here recently, so thanks for sticking with me. And until next time, just have fun and be safe.